So hello all, I'm Donald Rapp and I would like to show you my latest LEGO mock train with the Siemens Vectron locomotive of the Jeshev Roy Railway Company. I made this mock quite special because it has some interesting building techniques inside and as the real locomotives are operating under different voltages from the catenary system I decided to make this locomotive a dual voltage one which means it can operate from 9 volt train tracks but it's also capable of running on 12 volt train tracks. For first I would like to show you how the LED lights work on this locomotive. These are original power function LED lights and if you know this part it has a really bulky head and it was really hard to manage to place the light of the locomotive on the edge stud so I mean the number 1 and the number 8 stud of the 8 wide locomotive and also the top light made some problems for me when I was designing it the solution is the Spybotics or Exoforce light transmitting cable the power function LED light heads are hidden in the locomotive and their lights are transmitted to the edge and to the top of the locomotive with these light transmitting cables. The power function part is modded a little bit. It's not modded by its shape, but it's modded the circuit inside. This modification had been done by Viktor Peter Kovács, who made these LED lights polarity sensitive. It means that depending on the current, what I put on the output of my S-brick, the lights can be changed. Now I will show it to you. I'm moving my slider on my S-brick profile and the light can be changed. It's really useful because with this option the LED light looks as other power function LED lights, but it requires only one port of my S-brick. For a second I would like to show you the side pattern of the locomotive. This side pattern is really pixely with the yellow, white and green plates but I made an angular pattern which is a 2x2 two two green tile forced between white cheese slopes and this tile is connected to the body of the locomotive from the inside. Also check the boogie details. It's a really stable system and it's not falling apart when I'm running the locomotive. It's running by three months on this exhibition by now. Take a look at the front design. For first I would like you to notice the old type hinge connection, the white one. It gives a really solid solution for the angled and sloped front design. The newer hinge connectors are more bulky, but this one just makes the work I needed. Also check the inverted green 1x3 slopes on the top, they are facing downwards, just as like the green and the yellow row of the cheese slopes. I used snow technique for the grill at the front of the locomotive and the transparent black ties just in front of the LED lights are built with snow technique as well. Take a look at the roof. A quite usual pantograph design, some top roof details. I really like the angled grey part and just the slopes making a flat surface with the ties on the top of the locomotive. Let's see what's under the locomotive. It's a standard 9 volt train motor, 12 volt current pickups and on the other side the same design. There are two M power function motors in the locomotive and now I show how it controls the battery mode of the locomotive. So if I use the slider on my S-brick profile it will turn the polarity switch and now I add current to the battery mode and you can hear it beeping and now the wheels are turning around, but if I turn it off to the switch, it stops. 
The same goes for the 12 volt operation. I will switch it on and I can switch it off. So this is my test track. This is a 9 watt switch which leads to the siding. Here is the Yeshev locomotive on it. The siding goes, goes, and the 12 volt rails appear. And there is a 12 volt switch built in to the siding. And then the 12 volt track continues. It took some time to get all the 12 volt points and straights, but I don't have any 12 volt speed regulators. So now I will work with this 9 volt one. The 9 watt cable is connected to the track. So now as you can see the locomotive is standing and the speed regulator for 12 watt track is turned on. Now I will change the lights on the locomotive first and then I will switch the 12 watt mode on. And the locomotive starts but if I put it off it will stop but there is still current in the track. Continuous 9 watt is applied to the track. If I switch this point, the locomotive will start. And if I switch it back, it stops. Now I turn the 9 watt speed regulator connected to the 12 watt track. Look around again on my test track. The locomotive is still here. And now I will set this point and the locomotive starts it goes one more test it runs on 9 watt and now the watt tracks 